What's up, Terabytes? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios, and today, for the first time, I'm going to be reacting to Molly Sandin singing her song Husavik live at the Oscars. Super excited about this, guys. Let's go. Very cinematic. <laughs> This great big world before me, but it's all for someone else. Nice. I've tried and tried again. Mm, pretty vibrato. To let you know just where my heart is. To tell the truth. A little bit of struggle to let you know just where my heart is. Is it's very breathy there. She's almost not got it out, but she barely gets it out, which is also sort of interesting. Anybody else getting like never enough vibes right now? I'm totally getting never enough vibes. This is a really good song though, so far. Here we go. Pretend, singing on the end there, intentionally. Was to get away, just to realize that I was meant to stay. Nice. So she's intentionally going to kind of like a diphthong there. In my hometown. Uh, a diphthong is essentially going from a wider part of a vowel to a more narrow part. Uh, very indicative of country. So it's interesting that she's using it here, but it works. So there's that. Also, uh, fun fact, because this is the first time I've heard this, but this is at the Oscars because it was from a movie called... Um, Gosh, what is it called? Uh, something about fire. Yeah, it was called, oh, The Story of Fire Saga. And um, and this was, I guess, one of the big songs in it, or the big song in it. And um, it's really nice so far, and I can see why. I was wondering, like, why why is she chosen to sing at the Oscars? But that makes perfect sense now. My hometown. Pretty. But I made it clear, do I have to say it? It was always there, we just didn't see it. So there's a lot of switching that she's doing between da 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 chest, chest, head, chest, head, chest. Very, very good. And it makes for this beautiful dynamic kind of kind of differential between chest and head that's that's very pleasing to the ear and also not allowing the song to get too big too quick, even though it goes to high ranges. So if you're a singer and you're and you're trying not to give away all your goodies up front, but you do have high notes to hit, this is a very good tool to use um, if you're able to flip registerically between chest and head because it shows different timbres and textures of your voice, but it also gives the listener this sort of like Apertif, so to speak, this little appetizer to what may be yet to come. All I need is you and me in my heart. Love the vocal cry there. Mm. Beautiful. Usabi. Which is a place in Iceland. I love she's using kids for that. That's to great. Be seen and to be heard. And I Woo! Love that rundown. You, you switch up. What makes me happy. Nice. And I can tell you feel it too. Love her voice. When the mountains sing, the wings of seagulls, when the wheels can live. So good. Disney quality on that note. My Love that cry there. With a north and night, Full chest. So notice what I said, right? So before, with the mountains, uh, with the ba ba, but now, with the mountains roar, with the, I don't know the words, but you know what I mean? She's in full chest now. So again, it gave you this little appetizer before, like, I wonder what she's gonna do with that later. Now we know. Beautiful. 
love that she's using her native tongue as well as English. Gorgeous. Wow. Okay. 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 You may not agree with me for saying this, but I have one small little complaint about that whole huge, amazing note. Okay. I loved it, but I wish she would have held on to vibrato all the way to the end because she started straight tone and then she went vibrato. And I just have this thing, guys. I just have this thing where if you start vibrato, you got to like finish at least when you, you can stop vibrato if you're riffing off the note like she did during the riff, you can stop it because you're technically still moving notes. And so it sort of still sounds like a melodic vibrato. But I don't love when you start straight tone and then you do vibrato and then you end up going back to straight tone again. It's just a no-no for me. So for me personally, I didn't love that she went back to straight tone and I feel like she could have kept the vibrato. But vibrato does take more breath and it was a really long note, so I understand why that happened, but I would have liked it not to have happened. Loved the riff down though, that was gorgeous. In fact, why don't we just listen to that one more time and you can tell me what you think. Let's go back. Straight tone. Straight tone. Great run at the end, great riff at the end rather. And amazing cinematics, gorgeous, gorgeous fireworks, all that stuff is great. Um, beautiful voice this girl has, really, really amazing actually. Um, so, so very impressive. So that's something new I never heard of before and I haven't even watched the movie. Apparently Will Ferrell is in it, so there's that and he has long hair, I guess. So I'm gonna have to go watch it, I guess. It's a really good song. Um, Story of Fire Saga is where it came from. So congratulations to her for that beautiful song. Thanks so much for watching, guys, for asking me to react to this. I love Oscar-worthy performances, and that definitely was one of them. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, click that notifications button, and check out the description box below because there is an eight-week vocal course I have called Sing Smarter Not Harder that you are missing out if you are not in. And once you're finished with that, I have a Riffs and Runs course that's four weeks that's gonna help you do the things that she did in this song actually and break down why anybody actually can learn to riff and run it's just a matter of timing and math and pitch what does that mean get in the course you'll find out also private lessons insta reactions you name it we've got it for your voice we've got you covered i love you guys so much i am proud of you make sure you spread faith not fear love not germs be a blessing in a stranger's life because why guys that's how we change the world i'll see you guys in the next one bye and I'm